So how how are we all doing today? Yeah. Right. yeah. So just so just so you you all know, I do have a stutter. I'm not doing some misguided poor, poor me, pig, pig impression here. So it's like I I didn't always have a stutter. Like a few years ago, I bought one of those like improve your vocabulary CDs. I fell asleep to it, and I guess it started to skip. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I'm originally from the Midwest, so I, I grew up ca calling it pop in, in, instead of soda, which is kind of like a culture shock out here. So if I ever try to order pop in a restaurant here, the waitress would look at me like I was an alien from outer space, or I was trying to score drugs, and like, like she was like, I can't serve, serve you that. I would get fired. Or, or if a guy from California went to the Midwest and ordered soda, the waitress would probably respond with, you, you just want to, you just want straight up arm and hammer? Like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, I was like, who here has ever had a crazy ex? <laughs> all right, all right. So like, I, I had this crazy ex-girlfriend that liked to collect used baby pacifiers that she found on, on the ground. And then like, I asked her like, why, why do you collect all these baby pacifiers from the ground? And she said, well, she, she, she told me like, that she, she intended on using her collection on her future children. And, 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 and then I said, but how, but I, said, but I, asked, I said, but they're dirty. And she said, I know that, I'm not stupid. I'm gonna wash them before I use them. And like, I can just imagine like a, a doctor telling her so many years in, in the future, like, ma'am, I regret to inform you, but little Timmy has diphtheria. Like, like how is that even possible? Oh yeah, I, I, I lived a, a, a pretty full life. I did a, I, I've done a lot of things. Like I tried to open up a, a rattlesnake petting zoo. I once dragged race a guy who was in an electric wheelchair down a busy city street. And I don't even have a license. And once I stockpiled a bunch of dirty di dirty diapers in a heat event, which which directly caused a daycare center to, to burn down to the ground. And, and I also done a lot of stupid stuff too. Yeah. And oh yeah, and once someone asked me, "Hey, do you do you do you have any cr criminal records?" and I said, "No, but I do have a pretty awesome c c CD c collection." <laughs> and I have a thing for girls with big noses. Yeah. So when when I ever see a hot chick with a big with a big nose sneeze, I'm like, "Ooh, sneeze again! You 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 beat goddess." Oh yeah, so do you, you re re remember when magazines used to have clone s samples in society them? Like just imagine like you're running late for a date, you're all out of cologne, so you take one of those magazines, you flip it to the sample, you rub it all over your neck, and then your date later on asks you, oh that's a lovely cologne you're wearing, what is it? It's Sports I I Illustrated. <laughs> And like, just by looking at me, you, you can tell that I'm the guru of cool. Like, people I always ask me what it takes to be cool. So here's a few pointers of how to be cool. Cool. Dressing up like the Grim Reaper for a, for a Halloween party. Not cool. Dressing up like the Grim Reaper for a nursing home a Halloween party. I disagree. <laughs> cool. Loitering outside of a convenience store. Not cool. Loitering outside of a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> and also here, here's a, a, a couple games you can play that will, will make you the coolest cat on, on the block. The first game is called Heart Attack. Here's how to play. Like, you're riding shotgun and you yell out Heart Attack and you yank the steering wheel away from the, the, the driver. <laughs> and here's another game called Bingo. Not that bingo, this bingo is much cooler. When you ever see somebody about to take a drink, you yell out Bingo and you knock the drink right out, out, out of their hands. And I guarantee you, if you play any of those two games today, you will be a guaranteed hit. <laughs> and here, here's a few, and here's a few dance steps that make you the coolest. The first dance step is called waiting for the bus. And the second dance step is called the door to door salesman. And the last dance up is called the gas station restroom.
and like all, all, all three combined would be like. All right, that, that, that's my time.